If you're a guy over the age 50 like me, chances are that you're losing your hair or it's getting thin or both. Your hair is made of keratin, which is the same material that makes up your nails, your fingernails. Each hair is produced by a hair follicle, which is a gland in your skin and throughout your life they produce hair by secreting this keratin. And there are periods where it goes into a sort of dormant stage throughout your life. This is why you actually can lose hair when you're younger. As a matter of fact, I recall losing clumps of hair when I was in my 20s. But then it comes back alive and starts producing the hair again. Well, as you age, those periods get longer and longer, and eventually the hair follicles, you know, greater percentage of them, start to shut down. Once that hair falls out, that's it. So is there hope? Is there hope for growing hair back? That's, that's the big question. There have been some documented cases of men being able to grow their hair back. Minoxidil is the main uh, product that has been shown to be able to grow hair after several months of using it. Now since that hair follicle consists of special cells that secrete the keratin, it's, you know, it's a smart thing to question what is it about these cells that causes them to stop? And with that in mind, is there anything you can do to stimulate those cells, those cells that produce the hair? There's one thing that has potential and it's red light. I've made videos of red light before. Red light therapy is basically the utilization of light in the red wavelengths, about 630 nanometers to 850. The higher wavelengths are bordering on infrared, which is invisible, and the lower ones are what makes the light appear red. And it's not a color, it's the wavelength and frequency that has shown to be able to generate photobiomodulation, which is the ability of light to generate biological changes. The one that we're all familiar with is vitamin D. When you go out and get sunshine, uh, some UV rays strike your skin, and initiate the synthesis of vitamin D. Now the red light wavelengths and red light therapy get absorbed by the mitochondria. It causes the mitochondria to generate more energy. So it kind of speeds up the mitochondria's function of creating what's called ATP. These are the energy molecules that cells use to do things like secrete proteins, and maintain their cell walls, cell membranes, and so forth. Well, the studies show that red light therapy has been documented to help tissues regenerate, and it helps broken bones, cuts, lesions, bruises. It's been known to help skin conditions. You see red light therapy being used in metaspas, and it can also reduce pain, mostly by knocking down inflammation. With that in mind, you could try red light therapy to see if it can help reduce your hair loss or to stimulate those hair follicles, those cells, to generate, to speed up, to generate more secretion, thereby causing your hair to become thicker again. There's a product called the Red Light Therapy Cap. I've got one right here. It's got these LEDs that emit red light and infrared as well. Comes with a controller. You turn it on, turns them all on. You can increase the power level. And you can also put it into pulse mode like this. This is 40 cycles. What you just saw was 10 cycles per second. This is 40 cycles per second. It's uh, 40 flashes. Of 40 pulses per second, it's hard to see there. And you've got the sinusoidal, where it uh, cycles, ramps up to low to high. Pulse mode is probably better. I would think that the flashing of this light energy does a better job of you know, kicking those dormant cells into action. But constant is good as well. You could mix it up, try both. So I've got it on here. I position it like this and I set the timer for 30 minutes. I've been doing this for two weeks and I like to do it before I go to bed because sleep time is when your body regenerates. And I do notice that my hair is starting to thicken over that uh, area where it's experiencing some thinning. So if you're experiencing some hair loss or hair thinning, 
male or female, consider trying one of these things out, red light therapy. Okay, energize that scalp, energize those hair follicles. It might be able to make your hair grow back or at least thicken the individual hairs that you have remaining. That's it. If you know someone who's expressed concern over thinning hair, please pass this video on to them because while hair loss is not life-threatening, it can definitely impact the way a person feels about himself, his or her confidence. So it's important in that sense. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.